Its explosion at APRT brought in its wake destruction of infrastructure such as electricity installations. This affected power supply to over 30,000 customers in three operational districts which affected hospitals, among other institutions. The ECG has restored power to the affected districts, while efforts are ongoing to remove cables, meters, poles, and transformers that have been destroyed. The managing director of ECG, Mr. Kwame Ajimambudu, and some officials of ECG visited the site to assess the situation and replace the destroyed installations, estimated at about 2 million Ghana cities, which the company says it is ready to bear. The work involves the restoration of express feeder and power to the community, among others. We ask them to mobilize uh, forces to ensure that their safety is prevailed. What they did, they isolated the network to make sure the place is safe. After that, we energized those uh, who were uh, affected, like uh, San Kragua, Inche, uh, Cropon, to make sure they have light in our with our mobilization, we enforced the team uh, of a team from the region, whereby we were able to uh, restore power within 48 hours. Uh, and we are here this morning to uh, solidize with the community to show our support. After commensurating with the community, management of ECG promised an amount of 100,000 Ghana cities to help in their upkeep. Meanwhile, the GNPC Foundation is to construct a six-unit primary and a three-unit JHS block and sanitary facilities for the community. In an addition, tertiary students from Apiati are to benefit from the foundation's scholarship scheme. The executive director of GNPC Foundation is Dr. Dominic Edua. I'll be in talks with the um, State Housing Corporation to you know all the uh, preparation toward the reconstruction so that the component we are still quite can be added accordingly. So that's basically why I came so much to do this. I've had engagement with the chiefs and accordingly informed them.